Welcome, media. Thank you for joining us today for the Darcy Kemper LA Kings media availability. Uh, once again, if you have questions, we'll use the raise hand function. If you have a follow-up question, please ask it following your first. Uh, with no further ado, we'll get started. Start with Andrew Noel. Go ahead, Andrew. Hey, Darcy. Uh, preliminary welcome to LA here. We uh, we lost a couple of Saskatchewan guys, so it's nice to get one back. Uh, uh, just first of all, your, your thoughts on coming here and also kind of your reflections on your time in the organization. I know it was somewhat brief, but uh, a few years ago and working with Bill Ranford and uh, and the staff here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm super excited. Um, you know, my I had a short stint, like you said, but I, I love my time there. And it was uh, it was really tough to to have it be so short because of how much I enjoyed, uh, you know, the organization uh, living there, playing with the guys. Uh, so really excited to be back. Uh, I've had uh, a lot of success with uh, Bill Bradford and the, the goalie staff before. And, uh, looking forward to getting back to work and uh, and joining the team and helping us uh, get wins. And I know last season with the Caps, um, there were there were some really high highs. I know you and your wife welcomed your your first son. Uh, belated congratulations on that. Uh, and then the Thank hockey you. stuff was a lot of ebb and flow. Obviously, you know, Lingren kind of emerged. I know you had a couple injuries and things like that. Can you kind of assess your season and give us a little bit of a preview of what you're hoping to do next year in a, in a new setting here? Yeah, it was uh, hockey wise. It, it was really tough. It was uh, really frustrating at times. Um, uh, you know, obviously uh, weren't winning as many games as I would like and uh, not playing as much. And uh, that's always uh, tough to deal with, but just try to keep working through it. And although I didn't get to play a lot, uh, you know, I, I came to work every day and continue to work on my game. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the fresh start next year and, and just getting back to, uh, to playing how I, uh, how I like to play and uh, proving that last year was just a one-off and, uh, you know, getting a bunch of wins and uh, helping the team. Thank you. You next up, Zach Dooley. Go ahead, Zach. Hey, Darcy. Uh, welcome back to LA. Um, wondering, you know, how you, when you found out about the trade or, you know, the possibility that a trade might be coming and just how that process has kind of played out over the last couple of days, weeks, whatever it was. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I was, uh, I was taking a shower and my wife, uh, uh, came and grabbed me and said, I think we got traded. So, uh, it was kind of a strange way to, to find out, but, uh, uh, you know, it was a lot to process, but we were, we're both really excited for the move. And um, uh, now we got uh, some logistical stuff to figure out. But, uh, you know, for, for the hockey stuff, we're, we're super excited. And then I, I know a trade is, is never an easy part of the business, but does it make it that logistical stuff a little bit easier knowing your familiarity, you know, with the area, some teammates and guys like Bill Ranford, like you mentioned? Yeah, it's definitely uh, a lot easier just knowing the area and, and most importantly, just, you know, knowing the team, uh, knowing a lot of the staff members makes it uh, a lot easier just feeling at home right away. Uh, it, you know, it's tough going to a new team where, where you're trying to, you know, get to know the area, get to know everyone uh, at work all at the same time. So uh, this will be an easy transition and uh, we're really excited. Awesome. Thank you. Next up, Eric Stevens. Go ahead, Eric. Hey, uh, Darcy, welcome back to L.A. Thank you. Um, wanted to ask, um, you know, teams, I think maybe in recent years, have really embraced uh, the concept of tandems and net uh, uh, much more, even, you know, true tandems. And and Rob mentioned the other day that, you know, he, he, he can views you and, and, and David there, you know, as maybe being one for, for next year. I'm curious as to... Um, how, how, how do you see that? How do you see how the, you know, uh, how teams deploy their goalies, you know, how's that evolved, you know, over the years, uh, you know, in, with regard to that? Uh, you know what? I, I think it's kind of an evolution of how uh, the game's being played. Uh, uh, as the game's gotten more offensive, more open, it's been a lot more uh, demanding on goalies uh, physically. Uh, so I, I think it's uh, a lot tougher for guys to go on there especially play you know 60 plus games a year uh it's hard on the harder uh to stay ready physically and and mentally as well because you got to be so sharp every night and i think that's uh why you've seen a lot of teams kind of transition to 
to more of an even split or, or lessening the load of, of their number one guy. And uh, I think just for us as goalies, the, the challenge is uh, to make sure you're doing all the work that you have to, to, to be available as much as the team needs you and uh, keep your body and, and mind ready to play as many games as you need to. And then just my other, um, you know, uh, uh, you're under contract. I think it's three more years, right? Is it two or three? Correct. Yeah. Okay. The three more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about just the, I mean, the Kings have had a few goalies now over the last couple of years, ever since, uh, you know, obviously they moved on from Jonathan Quick, uh, you know, 10 and F for so long. What do you think of them viewing you as a solution? Um, and, you know, given your contract, perhaps one that can be more than, say, a season or whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm excited to be joining such a such a good team. Uh, you know, I believe that I can come in and, and be a stabilizing force in, in the net and, uh, you know, provide uh, the goaltending that uh, that the team needs. Uh, you know, obviously, I have a, a experience from winning a cup just a few years ago. And uh, once you get a taste of that, uh, you know, you, you want to you want to do it again and uh, I believe that you know I'm getting an opportunity to join a team that, that's capable of winning a cup and uh, I just want to come in and provide stable goaltending and do my part to, to help them uh, achieve that. Thanks Darcy. Thank you. Any other questions media? Zach Dooley go ahead. Hey, Darcy, I just had a couple more. I wanted to follow up on Eric's question there. Like the last time you were here, your role was a little bit different, right? You Quickie was an established veteran and, and you kind of rediscovered your game here. How exciting is it to be here in a different role, you know, to be able to come back and potentially be the guy um, when, you know, Quickie has since moved on? Yeah, it's super exciting. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I love my time there. Uh, you know, it was only for one season, but it, it was hard to move on. But that was just uh, the reality of the situation. And, um, you know, I wanted to, to be able to play a bigger role. And uh, that wasn't available at the time uh, with L.A. And, um, you know, things things have gone really well since then. And now I'm excited that I get the opportunity to come back and, and fill that role for a team that I, I love playing for so much. And then uh, I'm not sure if you saw yesterday, but uh, the L.A. Kings logo when they traded for you and the logo that they unveiled yesterday, a little bit different. I wonder if you saw the new mark and excited to be one of the first guys to be able to wear that. Uh, no, I, I've heard about it. I actually haven't even seen a picture of it yet. Uh, I've had a, a lot going on, so uh, I'll have to make sure I go look at it. I, I've heard some good things. And I think uh, whenever you get, uh, you know, a new jersey, a new logo, it, it, it's exciting for the fans, exciting for the players to, to get the opportunity to be uh, – you know, the first ones to wear it, and uh, really looking forward to that. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Andrew Noel, go ahead. Yeah, I just had uh, one more. I don't want to keep you too long here, but, um, you know, between your stints in L.A., obviously the, the big kind of crowning moment of your career, that cup in Colorado, uh, can you just share maybe your top takeaway? I mean, a lot of people talk about um, not so much winning the cup, but the cup run as a transformative experience, something that really, um, you know, takes them to another level in their career, different things like that. I'm just wondering, you know, what, what's the main thing that stands out in your mind from that run and and obviously hoisting the cup at the end of it? Yeah, I mean, it, it takes so much to, to you know, you go all all season, it's 82 games, it's a big season, then you get to the playoffs and it it's just, uh, it's a whole nother adventure. Uh, you learn so much about yourself and, and what it takes as a team to, to achieve that goal. Obviously, there's so many good teams every year and only one gets to win it and it it truly takes something special. Uh, and you, you just, you learn what it takes to have that kind of success, whether it's uh, what's within you or, or within the uh, team uh, build. And, uh, you know, it truly is the greatest moments of your life. And um, I'm so blessed that I've had the chance to, to go through those. And I, I, I learned a lot about myself, learned a lot about the guys that I was playing with and uh, uh, you know, that's an experience that, that's really invaluable. And um uh, you know, I just want to be able to do it again. Thank you. Thank you. Eric Stevens, go ahead. Hey, uh, Darcy, you know what? I just thought of it. Uh, just uh, one more. Uh, Andrew Cogliano uh, uh, decided to hang him up today. 
uh, just curious as to um, if you have any just thoughts or quick thoughts to share of, of having Cogs as a teammate, what he brought to that ass club, and maybe even more importantly, what he brought kind of to, to the room and what he was like there. Yeah, it, it's, uh, you know, it's going to be sad to see him go from, from the hockey world, but, uh, you know, I'm sure he'll, he'll be involved in a, a different role at one way or another, but, uh, just what an, what an amazing professional, uh, what an amazing career he had. Uh, I just remember when he came to our locker room, just the, the professionalism that he brought every day, uh, his approach to the game, um, and acceptance of, of the role that we needed him to play. I think, uh, that's a, really understated uh, part of teams that go on to win is just everybody, uh, you know, knowing what they have to do to contribute to the team. Uh, you know, he was, he was willing to, to, you know, play those hard penalty kill minutes, those hard checking minutes and, and uh, you know, embrace that challenge and it was a huge part of our success, obviously. And uh, just uh, uh, his career as a whole, it, you know, to play as many games as he did uh, you know, it, it's not uh, it's not a coincidence. Just a, an unbelievable professional. And I know it's been written about, but I mean, he he, he would speak up when it was necessary. I mean, even I uh, think in the, those finals too. Yeah, I, I mean, his maturity I think uh, uh, was huge for us. Uh, I remember when we had lost, uh, we had a chance to win it at home in in Game Five, and and we had lost, and then we had to travel back to Tampa. He just uh, got everyone together at dinner and, and just talked to us about, uh, you know, embracing embracing the challenge, uh, believing in ourselves, the confidence that it takes that we we're going to win the next game. And I think it was a, a huge uh, revelation after uh, after hitting the low of, of missing a chance to win it all. And uh, you could see it in our play the next next game. And I think that was a, a huge turning point and uh, allowed us to get over that hump of winning that last game. Thank you, Darcy. Two, one more question from Daryl Evans. Daryl, go ahead. First of all, welcome back to Los Angeles, Darcy. Uh, great to have you back. Uh, have you had a chance to talk to any of your teammates or the coaching staff yet? Uh, yeah, I've uh, talked to a lot of the staff members. Uh, a lot of people reached out and uh, uh, talked to a few teammates, uh, you know, excited to be joining them. And uh, lots of people have been offering help if we need anything with the move. So it's been a, a really warm welcome and uh, it's been much appreciated. And when you look at the team, you look at the way that they've played over the last couple of years, what do you, what do you like about what you see in coming in in the position that you're in? Yeah, I mean, the, the team's been uh, – so hard to play against. I, I think uh, very structured and deep. Uh, their depth has been, uh, as an opponent, uh, really hard to match up against. And uh, obviously, there, there's a lot of high-end skill as well. Uh, the team defends really well, which is, uh, which is uh, nice to be a part of as a goalie. And uh, uh, really excited to just uh, be an added piece to the already uh, really good team. All right, well, welcome back, and we'll look forward to seeing you when you get in town. Thank you. Perfect. If there are no more questions, this concludes today's media availability. Thank you, media, for joining, and thank you, Darcy, for your time. Thanks, everyone.